Tensions are ramping up now. Eight games to go in the Premier League. We're just outside the relegation zone. I'm still not confident that we can stay up. Today is arguably the biggest episode of the entire series because we have two massive home games to Wolves and Brentford. We're all separated by one point, so anything could happen in the next 20 minutes. For me, it'll be recording. It'll be like an hour. 40 minutes of recording, 20 minutes of crying. Come on, Derby. You can do this. We have Dorame. Nothing can go wrong. Everything can go wrong. Hello, viewers. Hello. How how are we all feeling? It's another drama-filled episode of the best FIFA 23 career mode on YouTube. I, I'm pretty sure someone wrote that somewhere. That was that was me. It is, though, isn't it? Come on. However many other people will be in a relegation battle at this time. If you do think that it is one of the best series, see, I've changed it to one of them, then do drop a like now before it hits the fan. Right, so, where are we? 17th is the answer. Five points out of Arsenal, but every team below us has a game in hand. A couple of teams above us also have a game in hand, Brentford being one of them. We play them today, but only after we have played Wolves and Manchester United away at Old Trafford. Mmm, you can tell I'm looking forward to that. If you missed it last time out, dramatic doesn't quite do it justice. Joined halfway through a Palace game, winning 2-0. Then went and uh, lost 2-0 to West Ham in a game we really should have won. And then went and beat Manchester City 4-3 at the Etihad. And that has given us a fighting chance of staying up. Hopefully, I can channel that City performance into this today. The change of formation seems to have worked for us. And I have felt a lot safer at the back. I've realised I've called the formation 4 at the back and we're playing 5. So, ignore the name of it. Just count the amount of players at the back. You'll be fine. I'm very thirsty as well, guys, so if my voice goes at any point, it's because Abby hasn't made me any tea yet. So, here's our five at the back formation. Angus Gunn is in goal. Jimenez and Van Gamal are the two wing-backs. Jankovic, Dardai, Tanganga are the three centre-backs. Kobeline, Anderson, Brenner. Mm. And then you've got... What was that? And then you've got Dorami and Shamiti both leading the line up front. That front three has been gelling very well since I moved to this five at the back, so fingers crossed they can just keep that up. Keep up the momentum. What is he doing there? What? What? Oh, it won't even show me. I'm going to have to replay that. I'm going to focus in on that because that, that's just weird. Why was he doing the rose from Titanic in the centre circle before he's even kicked a ball? Maybe James Cameron's directing this. The Dharma Trio is going to be an absolute nightmare. What a tackle. Doesn't matter, he still gets the flipping ball. The FIFA cheat code that is Adama Traore. The wrong way, that's good though. Brenner, oh, get on side, Chimiti. He just made the run too early. The wrong way. On the ball, hits it. It's a great save by Jose Sarr. Oh, could I have chipped it into Chimiti there? Probably. I just didn't back myself. Anderson on it. Whoops it in. Great header. Oh, where is it? Oh, nearly. Good tackle there by Jankovic on the Dharma Traore. I feel like if I keep Traore quiet, we're going to be fine. That's a brilliant take from Brenner. For God's sake, Mike. Loft it, you idiot. Loft it. You can hit it over the top. Stop trying to pass it through people, you dense numb nuts. Jankovic, that's good. Maybe like, here we go. Brenner into Durame. He's just... It's again... It's a, what a ball by Durame to Chimiti! What a save, you... Sod Jose Sarr. Really, really good keeper. Very underrated goalkeeper. Nil nil. It's not what we need, really, ideally. If we win this, we go above walls, and that would make a massive difference. And as we all know, they will score. At some point, they will score. So the fact we haven't got our goal yet is worrying me. I've got to say, actually, Jankovic has done a really good job so far. On uh, on a Dharma Traore, he's been faced up against him a couple of times, and I've just been really uber aggressive. As oh, piss off. Just so I say that, he makes a great tackle, and then the game's like, no, Dharma wins that because he's got pace. So Dharma has to win everything. He is the FIFA cheat code. He always has been. Yeah, good save there by Angus. 
for all the fact they've had a few good moments, I don't really feel like they've actually threatened that much, really, to be fair, which is a good a good sign for us. That's a good ball. Come on, Kenneth. I need I needed Dorame or someone with a bit of speed onto that, really, rather than Kenneth. He's not exactly the quickest player in the world. But then chimiti has got that brilliant habit of being able to finish chances. How in the hell have they still won the ball there? And why has Angus Gunn tipped that over the bar? Just catch it, you bell end. Honestly. Oh look, it's a corner and they keep winning the ball from the not from the deflections. I don't believe it. That never happens. Ever. Dada, it's a decent ball to Jankovic. Right, can we just hit him on the counter? Not exactly the person I want bombing forward with it, if I'm honest, but we'll go with it. Oh my God, the final pass, the final ball in this game has been just awful. Thank you, sweetie. Just been awful. Oh, no. I've been cra praising all day. Get in there, Kitalano. What are you doing? You absolute buffoon. I'm just God. I swear to God, I could kill. This has been a very tense game by two teams that are clearly not in form. It's a nil-nil, and that suits Wolves a lot more than it suits me. We did get a little bit dominated in that match. I thought we we had moments where we played quite well, but overall, not a good day at the office there. Really poor. Arsenal lost again. They are in real, real trouble of going down there, Arsenal. They're in real danger of going down. Wolves lost as well, and Brentford must have lost their games, because now look at it here. If we beat Brentford... We've got a massive chance to get ourselves out of this. Everyone around us is not winning, which is good, because that means that they're running out of games. United are fighting for the top four with Liverpool uh, and maybe Chelsea. Spurs in second makes me feel a bit sick, to be honest. But let's just get on with it. Let's get on with the United game. This this has reminds me a little bit of the Arsenal game. Musiala's there, De Jong's there, Parejo, Anthony, Frimpong, Torres, Alaba, Lodi, Vlahovic up front. That's going to be... Painful. I'm going to go with the same team. Um, kept another clean sheet. I say another. Kept a clean sheet, which is good. That's the four for this season or whatever it is. Um, good. Who the hell is Ludovic Blas? Whoever he is, he's um, he's been in good form. Hello, hello. Chimiti to Durame, please. Durame! Durame! First attack at Old Trafford. First, first blood to Derby. And you know why? You know why? It'll be because it's easier to play against the big teams for some reason, which makes no sense whatsoever. Murderami gets his 17th goal in 30 matches. He's averaging over a goal every two games. So that's pretty good going for a guy who's only 76 rated. What a signing he has been. Kobe Lyon finds Durame. Lovely turn by Mo. And he's found Wagnerman out wide. And we've got men over here. Might have lost a little bit. Brenner. Oh, why didn't I just hit it? Turn and hit it. Turn and hit it. I took the wrong option. I tried to pass it into Durame again. Oh, there we go. Anthony. Oh, what a save. Oh, of course it doesn't matter. Of course it doesn't matter. Obviously. Joke. Who's that? That was Blass. What a joke. It was a brilliant save by Bum. By Angus, tipped onto the bar. Really, really decent effort at a save there. And um, yeah, well, naturally, you know, as as these things do, has to fall to one of their players. God forbid one of mine should react quicker. But there you go. Such is life. Back to Anderson. Back to Brenner. He hits it. Chimiti. Decent effort. Ah, I just didn't wrap his foot around. Maybe I could have hit it with Brenner a bit earlier. I was just hoping to maybe roll one of the defenders and just get a shot away. It's decent defending. So decent save by Angus. Should really be stopping them from there, to be honest with you. Yankovic now on the ball. That is off. That's off. Anthony, come on. Oh, you bottled it, mate. Old Trafford bottle job. Classic. That's an away. T that's an away team. That's a red every day of the week. Well, ultimately, uh, one one. I'll take it. Away at Old Trafford. Not bad. Arsenal are drawing as well, which is good. I just can't get it out of my head that Arsenal will at some point hit some form and get out of this. I can't. I just can't think how they won't do that. But I tell you what, if they do go down next year, there's a couple of players in there that I'm definitely going to go hunting after. 
I'm not spotting the runs properly. There you go, Darmi into Jimenez. Now this is a good run. He dinks it. Chimiti heads it. It's a great, great save there by Daguerre. Probably a little too far out with his head. But definitely options there. Darami, that's a really nice take. Brenner. Oh, waste it. Oh, what a ball by Chimiti. He finds back the man. He's in. He t Why didn't I just hit it? There was no square ball on there. You're just kind of hoping that maybe it'll bounce off someone and go in for an own goal or something. Cobra line. He's in. Darame. Lays it. You are joke. I haven't put anywhere near as many Titanic references into this as I should have done, considering the start of the episode. Gentlemen, it has been an honour playing with you tonight. Love a near post, you know? Love it. it it's just, uh, you know, it actually is a massive gaping chasm. That's what every goalkeeper's near post should be. Right, FIFA? Right, EA? No goalie should ever, uh, you know, be able to stop stuff at their near post. Ever, really. It's, it's actually an assigned place where loads and loads of goals are scored through the history of time. Stats will show you. Near post should never, ever be the first place that a goalkeeper covers. Ever. Durami for two... Over the line, whoops the ball in. Jankovic misses it. Oh, look, it just drops there. Straight back to the United keeper. Doesn't fall to one of our blokes. Why, why would it? Why would it? Why would it do that? Why would you get fairness in a FIFA career mode? Or in any kind of FIFA game? Or any EA game in general? Did I pay for that privilege? No. Then, not interested, mate. Got to get you to pay more. Pay to win, you know? That's what it's about. Well, Arsenal have pulled a goal back against Leicester, I think. It's 3-2. So at least they're losing, which is something. Not that that makes me feel any better. Drami, Brenner. Should... I hate him at the moment. He's getting sold next year. Brenner's got to go next year. He really does. I've just had enough. I've had enough of the missed place passes. I've had enough of him just being shite. I've just, I've just had enough. He mucks up the best chance we have to equalise there. Idiot. 2-1 to United. We... We acquitted ourselves well. Um, let's not lie. We're not really meant to be going there. But you look at the stats there. A pretty even game. Just just Angus Gunn the difference, to be fair again. just And a bit of luck as well. Their first goal was very lucky. You know, bounce off the post. Just so happens they fall straight to their player. Why wouldn't it? This is the game that I really need to focus on. And that's the Brentford game. Because I think if we don't win this, then we are in some real, real trouble. Like, real trouble. We're 17. Arsenal have... Just lost again. They've still got a game in hand, but they're still six points behind. So, <clears throat> you know, we are still there. Wolves will play the same amount of games, and they're on the same amount of points. This is a huge game, and I'm not going to change the team because I, I just feel like the balance is right. It's just tonight, the final ball has just not been there. The quality in the final third is what's letting me down, which is usually not something I'm guilty of. But in this, it is. It's better by Durano. Just want some passes to go right. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> in those dinks it. Chimiti! Oh, get in! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> A nice early goal. Well done. Lovely first time cross by Jimenez. And Chimiti rises, heads back across the keeper, exactly where you should put it. That's his 15th goal in 33 matches. Well done, mate. Okay, good. Something to hold on to. Remember, this is going to bring them right back into the mix as well, because they'll go below us, well, Brentford, if we win this. So this is exactly what the doctor ordered. I've got to get as many teams involved in this relegation scrap as physically possible. Oh, over the top, Mike. You can see that. Over the top. Oh, no. It was meant to be to Chimiti. Why didn't I play the pass to Chimiti again? Oh, it's because it was Brenner. So it wouldn't have made it anyway. Brenner, Ugh, it's a good effort, but it's just so in the middle. He's just playing with no confidence right now as Kenneth. It just feels like he's just doubting everything that he's doing, and maybe that's because I'm doubting everything I'm doing with him, to be honest. I'm happy if they come down Jankovic's side, because today he's been absolutely brilliant. That... We could have gone back to Dardai, but you know, I'd rather give it to Jankovic, who's two yards away with a player right on him. Good one. 
Oh, for God's sake, why did you take such a heavy touch before you hit it? At least we got the ball back. That's a foul. Referee. Oh, you are joking. No. You're joking. You couldn't, you couldn't write this. Mamadrame is injured. Brilliant. Well, Nieza, it's going to come on. Kobeline's going to move into the, the camera and Brenner's going to go up front. You dirty. Let's be fair. It was just a collision. He's probably broken his elbow or something. Something stupid like that. Am I going to get the ball back? No, apparently they, 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 they have it. Good. Cheers for that. Oh! And Shamit was on side. I thought he was off, but he was on. Oh, we're all over him here. They've not really got going in this game of Brentford. Come on, Chimiti, get there, son. Decent-ish touch. It's found its way back. Kenneth! Oh, he's in the beans on toast. It's a good effort on his wrong foot. We should really be further ahead. They've not had that much in the way of attacks. This is a massive result, but I, I can't help but sit here and think what is happening to Mo. Is he okay? Did someone put the diamond in the coat? They put the diamond in the coat. They put the coat on her! What oh, lovely control there by Chimiti. Oh, hello, mate. He's absolutely schooled you there. It's a two on two. It's now, thanks to Brenner, a eight on two. An eight on one. He's given the ball away. I could kill him. You know Slowpoke from like Pokemon? That's what Brenner's like to me right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, Tiger. This is all way too quick for me. Slowpoke. He's a slowpoke. But without the psychic powers. It's a lovely ball to Chimiti. He tees it to Brenner, who proceeds to smack someone in the bollocks. Well done, mate. Come on, I just need a second while I'm on top. Cobra line. Yankovic deserves a goal. And he's at the flipping roof of the net. Gotta make this dominance count. Brentford have not got going in this game at all. And I... I'm in desperate need of a second here because I just know, I know for a fact there will be some moment of nonsense. They will get a nonsense chance at some point. It could be here. <laughs> there. Thanks. Uh, well done, Angus. Again, they're holding on to it, mate. You. F what is that? What goalkeeping technique is that? Whatever it is, stop it. Brenner. To Anderson, it's a sensational save. I thought, do I take a touch? No, hit it first time. And Strakosha's made a brilliant save. Big Dom Solanke goes off. I don't know idea what they've brought on. We'll find out in a second. Damsgaard as Tanganga heads over the bar. Am I ever going to score from the corner again? Cobra line into Wagner. Partly almost wants to hold the ball up a bit here and just waste a bit of time. We've got him round behind here. Wagner tees it. Chimiti. Chim any time, mate, any time you want to hit it, not at the defender, that would be ideal. Yep, foul him. Great tackle. Stop the counter-attack. Great tackle. We've just got to stop this. Jankovic, again, incredible tackle. When it really matters most, we've got three minutes. I am, if I can help it, just... Just going to keep the ball. This is literally it now. We're just... I can't believe I'm trusting Angus Gunn with this. We're just going to keep the ball. But we have been in control of this game pretty much from start to finish. It's going to be a worth, a worthy win. Please, Raph, come on. <coughs> it may not have been the most exciting episode today in terms of goals. But my God, is it important. That goal from Chimiti may have just been the goal that keeps us in the Premier League for next season. Absolutely dominant performance. We battered them. Should have got more. Don't care. How bad is the Durame damage? Don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. Go. Go. Bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Seven months without Mohamed Durame. An ACL injury from falling over. Good one. Good one, FIFA. I'm just not allowed nice things.
What a joke that is. Yeah, on a positive note, that win has lifted us up now into 15th place. And more importantly, it looks like we've got games in hand. We're seven points clear with a game in hand. Arsenal really are. They're not, they're, at some point, they have to wake up. Surely, Arsenal cannot be going down. The game relegated from the Premier League. Surely, it can't happen. I don't know what to say about Durame. That's... I'm glad that we got that win because I tell you what, I can't see us getting another one for a while. Next game up or a next time out, we're playing Leicester away, Everton away, which might be winnable, and then Liverpool away. Hmm. Um, although we have fared better against the big boys, and then the season finale will be at home to Chelsea and Fulham. The Fulham game could be absolutely massive, but I'm beginning to believe that maybe, just maybe, we've done enough to stay up now. I think that win against Brentford and drawing against Wolves... That might just be enough to keep us afloat. Um, just because the other teams around us don't really look like winning. Touch wood. But, yeah. Positive positive episode overall. Would have been good to have got the Wolves result. That I'd be definitely saying I think we're safe. But we'll see how we get on. Leicester aren't that many points out of us. They're on 40. So they're not exactly miles ahead. We'll just have to wait and see how we get on. Um, what I will say though is thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, you know what to do. Drop a like on the episode. Share. Subscribe. And I'll see you again. Take care of yourselves, everyone, and stay cool.